This makes about as much sense as it did last night. Let's take a look at the evidence for the kajillionth time. I've got to be missing something. No matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no way I shot Safi. Is that me? Did I go back in time and do that? It doesn't make any sense, and I would never hurt Safi. Not on purpose. That isn't me. It can't be. There's also that flash drive from Gwen. Maybe something on there will crack the case wide open. I get where Diamond's coming from. This must be terrifying for students. Thank you. 
Whoever did this had to go to so much trouble. Vin definitely knows more about the cow skull than he's letting on. Plus, there was that photo of him and Safi canoodling. But what does that even mean? Why on earth did Gwen cancel Safi's book deal? Didn't she help her to get it in the first place? Sorry, Gwen. If there's something useful on this, maybe you'll thank me later. Hold on. She's looking right at the camera, like she knows it's there. Does she want to get caught? Or... Is this another doppelganger? Maybe if I go object by object, an answer will jump out at me? I read the beginning. It's annoyingly good. Unfortunately, Lucas didn't include an evidence that I killed Safi chapter. Restraining Order Lucas said Safi once threatened to turn his son against him. That certainly implies some bad blood in their past. But that Lucas was scared of Safi, not out for revenge. None of this is conclusive enough. Moses, when this is all over, I'll play as many games of Mana Massive as you want, I swear. Maybe if I- Before Safi died, Gwen got her book cancelled, and I still don't know why. But that doesn't mean she killed Safi. Plus, dead world Gwen seems genuinely torn up over her death. Yeah, the Gwen theory has some holes. None of this is adding up. Why would Gwen want to be caught? I have to prove that wasn't me. Coffee. Coffee is friend. Get coffee now. No matter how much I stare at you, he refused to make sense. Moses? Hello, Miss Caulfield. Oh, fuck. Can I come in? The photo. If he sees that... I have some questions for you. Of course, I... I can answer your questions right here. I knew you'd be a valuable resource. There are just a few details I'm struggling to make sense of. Go 
ahead. Arcadia Bay, where you went to high school, right? Yes. A beautiful town with a surprisingly violent story to tell. Not unlike... Arcadia Bay and Safi are not connected. A small town with a curious number of murders. And now, Safi, Llewellyn, Fayed... Murdered in a small town? What are the odds? What do you think, Miss Caulfield? Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you? Go fuck yourself. Arcadia Bay has nothing to do with Safi. Ooh, there it is. Touched a nerve? I knew I'd find one if I kept poking around. Detective, I'm not answering any more of his questions. What the fuck happened to the telescope, Maxine? I don't even know what you're talking about. Someone was in the office with me. I could hear them. I saw Moses in the hallway, but I didn't see you. All right, enough. We're not getting anywhere. This case has been abnormal from the beginning. None of the evidence makes any sense. At least that's something we can agree on. But. I know why now. Somehow, all this death leads to you. That's not true. He saw it. He saw the photo. Stupid, Max. Stupid, stupid. What the hell do I do now? None of this makes any sense. What happened that night? Why the fuck am I in this picture? The old me would have just jumped back in time to the moment this photo was taken. Maybe, maybe I still could.
that's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. No. It feels good. Final. Sophie. Here too. But there wasn't a storm the day Sophie died. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Sophie, wait. Who is Maya? What was she talking about? Understand. What do you want from me? Pull the trigger. Moses, you were right. I don't know how, but you were. I have to tell him. Everything. Moses is waiting for me up there. Hopefully. I get it, Joyce. Dating after everything that's happened feels impossible. This is where the police tape was yesterday. Did the cops take it down on Alderman's orders?
He's not here. Yet. Let's give him a few minutes. Maybe wait on the bench. If I didn't know what used to be here, I'd find this really beautiful. I know Safi would have something poetic to say about this. If only. He's not here. Yet. Let's give him a few minutes. Maybe wait on the bench. Some of that was definitely directed at me. Good place to wait for Moses. Better cross to the other side. Might as well gather my thoughts before Moses gets here.
Diamond knows where I am and who I'm meeting. So don't do anything stupid. I deserved that. You wanted to talk. So talk. Tell me the truth. Tell me why you did it. I don't think I've actually done it yet. I think it was a future version of me. Moses, wait. I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look, these flowers. What are the odds they bloom in the middle of winter? Exactly in the shape of Sophie's body? Five minutes and then I leave. Okay. So, what if I told you there's this other timeline where Sophie is alive and I can travel between this timeline and that one? Four minutes. I know, I know that it sounds insane. But I can show you. I. I'll, I'll hop from this timeline to the other. You'll see me, poof, disappear. Yeah, to some magical fantasy world where you didn't kill Safi, right? It's not a fantasy world. It's connected to this one. If I try to, I can even see the other one from here. Wait, you can see across them? And here, too. So if you disappear or whatever, and I do something while you're gone... I can tell you what it was when I come back. And then, you'll believe me? It'd be a start. Okay. Okay, deal. All right. There's a chance Moses will believe me. First, I gotta hop over to the other timeline. Now to see what Moses is up to on the other side. Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me jump back over to make sure I didn't break him. Max? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit! I'm sorry if I upset you. Upset me? Are you kidding? You did something physics says should be impossible. Is impossible. So you... You believe me? Yes. And... No. You disappeared. Max, literally. I completely forgot to do anything. Okay, let's try it again. Ready when you are. Okay, let's try this again.
psychic storm. What did I do when you were away? And then you said... Machine Angel Psychic Storm. Um... Yep. <laughs> That's what I did. Wow. I mean... Yeah. Near as I can tell, Sophie's death is where the timeline split. I think her absence is the only difference between the two. I guess that could be a big enough event to lead to... You okay? So oh, Safi's alive over there, huh? She is. And she's... Don't say happy. We both know that would be a lie. You're right. When you see her again, can you give her something for me? A bottle cap? How did you... Safi slipped it back to me that night. Found it in my equipment. You give that to her, tell her. Tell her to stay safe, Max. Make her swear to it. I will. Promise. But I think she's going to need our help. What do you mean? When I was a teenager, I could... rewind time. Just... raise my hand and undo everything that had just been done. Okay. And if I had a photo, I could go back even farther. Wait. Could. Bastards? I know it sounds like it must have been amazing. But Moses, the things I caused to happen, just having a power doesn't necessarily give you mastery over it. One of many lessons gleaned from X-Men comics. The point is, I... stopped using it, and now it barely works. Okay, but... there's a photo of you from that night. With a gun. You're saying that could be... a future you? Even though you can't do that anymore? This morning, I tried... Rewinding into that photo, it felt like trying to flex an atrophied muscle. Nothing made sense. But I was there, in the past. Sophie mentioned Maya, and oh god, the storm. Max? Look, there's a timeline where for some reason, I shot Safi. This one. And there's a timeline where I didn't. I feel like, intentionally or not, these two worlds exist because of a decision I'm going to have to make. Holy shit. 
Moses, I've been here before. When I could rewind, it broke time. People got hurt. I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here, too. First look at the crime scene is inconclusive. I'll need some further insight into Miss Llewellyn Fayette's mental state. Not to call a shot prematurely, but if this isn't suicide, I'd put money on a Mr. Moses Murphy, friend of the deceased, being the perp. I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. He's talking like he hasn't already met you. Like he's... Alderman from yesterday. An alderman that already happened? Max, this is really bad. Time isn't supposed to act this way. It appears something was removed from her person post-mortem. Maybe the camera her mother mentioned. We need to get the hell out of it. <gasps> Fucking knew it. Returning to the scene of the crime? Amateur hour shit. How'd I let a couple of small time fuck ups like you get under my skin? What do you want from us? I thought I wanted some evidence. Close this fucking case and celebrate with a nice cigar. And then I got my evidence. That little photo of you with the gun. And you know what I realized? Not a fucking soul would believe me. You're going to pay for what you've done, Maxine Caulfield. And I'm here to collect. Express the campus. If our colleagues, our friends, our students get devoured like this? I can just I can just stop using my powers. Started with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you 
why she died. And maybe we can prevent all of this. That's what I've been trying to do. The whole day I've been talking to people and spying on them and taking their stuff. Hey, Safi mentioned Maya, right? When you rewound? Right. What do you think Maya has to do with all this? No idea. Maya was before my time. But Gwen Hunter might know more than me. She was Safi's mentor during all that mess. Gwen. Gotta go talk to Gwen. I'm still shaking. Alderman was, and then he just wasn't. And Moses and I were standing so close. But I'm here now. I'm here. I'm all right. Okay, talk to Gwen, see what she knows about Maya. And while I'm at it, I'd like to know why she killed Sophie's book deal. That's not what her text said earlier. It was about Alderman's investigation. What the hell is going on? Cool. I'm a tired sun, sleepy moon, and exhausted rising. If we can't sit on tables, where are the cool kids expected to sit? In chairs? Like a bunch of squares? If we can't sit on tables, where are the cool kids expected to sit? In chairs? Like a bunch of squares?
Then boom! The spaceship crashes right in the middle of a park, and this alien crawls out of the hatch. That seems like a lot of money for a student project. I'm only gonna shoot the trailer. I figure I can cut costs doing some old school practical effects. Seems like you've got a plan. Still very ambitious. Go big or go home, right? I'd been meaning to ask Diamond about her new movie. It's nice to see her so excited about something other than Moses. Lo-fi ambient bellows to chill slash study to. A classic. I, for one, kind of like the paper straws. I've been trying to get a shot of Safi writing in the light beams from this window, but she always sees me. This angle's not working for me. I should try somewhere else. Yes, perfect spot. This is a lot prettier than my usual work, but I like it. My younger self might have thought this would make an edgy photo. <laughs> Asshats grading my final right now. Yeah, left his door open. I got to watch him hate my writing in real time. I could practically read my grade off his face. Martin Hart, F minus. Yeah. There's nothing else I can do, so unless there's a Christmas miracle, he's gonna fucking fail me. Hey, it's okay. I mean, it's fucking not okay. But I don't want you to worry about me. It's just one grade. Yeah, I... I, I mean, I knew I was gonna miss her, but... I don't know. It's been a lot harder to get out of bed since Safi died. I'll bet my camera that Gwen knows something about Maya. Have fun. Audrey? I'm worried about Kim. So am I. None of my attempts to reach out have yielded results. You? Nope. She's still not answering any of my calls. I think she's blocking them. I saw her in the North Quad, but she turned and ran the other way. This just isn't like her. Last time we spoke, Kim said she didn't want to go out. I think she's depressed. Well, she told me she was busy. She's probably too focused on school. What she needs is a friend she can empathize with. Someone a bit more in alignment with her intellect. Someone who isn't droll with a stick up their ass. 
funny. I've got it. Let's send Kim a gift so she knows we're thinking about her. Hmm. What's that humming about? Is receiving gifts truly her love language? I don't know. No wonder Kim's depressed. We don't even know her love language. Pull yourself together. We can't break down now. Kim needs us. You're right. Oh, roses. What if we sent her roses? Everyone likes that. A classic object of beauty. I think that would please her. But are roses too basic? I don't want Kim to think we chose low-hanging fruit. <gasps> You're right. It has to be perfect. We should research the perfect flower to give her. A tree died for this, Loretta. <laughs> Guard your ankles. Guard your ankles. Sorry, Chester, but you've got a problem, and it starts with a... This must be the professor Sophie TA'd for. She mentioned he liked to tear this one kid down, but failing him is harsh. I'll see what I can do for you, kid. Gwen's office. Let's see what I can find out from her. Meeting tomorrow. Where? What meeting? <laughs> Is it endorsing meetings in general?
What should I say this time? Think about who you want to be. Don't get hung up on who you are. That's growth. The society. Was she talking about Abraxas? Wait. Donner and Blitzen means thunder and lightning? <laughs> Who knew Santa's reindeer were so metal? And then she didn't. Martin has an A here. I knew it. Safi would never fail this kid. Enjoy the A, my dude. I think you've earned it. Have fun. Gwen's office. Let's see what I can find out from her. One of those Abraxas roses for Sophie. Happy holidays to my favorite prof. I don't think a happy holidays is in the cards. One of Sophie's former students, I guess. It takes me ages to comment on one student photo. I can't imagine having to grade exams. It's alive! More music I'm not cool enough to know. I will never be as cool as Gwen. Old school. Nice.
One of Sophie's former students, I guess. Is that Sophie's book? Hey, Gwen. Max. No conversations for you to conveniently overhear this time. Sorry to disappoint. Actually, I need to talk to you about Sophie. No reason to beat her on the bush. I know you got Sophie's book deal canceled. Shit. What I don't understand is why. You really have a knack for learning shit you're not supposed to know, you know that? So I've been told. <laughs> well then. No use fighting the inevitable. What do you want to know? That book meant the world to Safi. You had to know that losing it would break her heart. Of course I did. I busted my ass to help Safi get that deal in the first place. Introduced her to my agent, my publisher, lobbied for her. I don't regret it. That book was good. This keeps getting weirder and weirder. So, what did you tell the publisher that made them nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. Which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people. Safi included. Sophie's book was incendiary? How? What was it about? You really don't have an off switch, do you? How much did Sophie tell you about Maya Okada? Gwen's bringing up Maya? Time to pay attention. Maya Okada? Safi never mentioned the name. Hmm. She always did keep her cards close to her chest, didn't she? The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. You never saw one without the other. And that Ben Lang kid used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. But then... Maya took her own life. And that's what Safi wrote about in her book? Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Ultimately, I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. I made a call. I don't know if it was the right one, but it's the one I made. Sounds like Yasmin can tell me more about Maya. I'll have to be tactful. One last thing. Is that Safi's manuscript? Oh, part of it, why? Can I read it? No. That's where I draw the line. I don't trust you not to dig up old graves. Jesus. 
I've spilled too much already. Let's call this conversation over. Huh? Shit. Now I'm even more convinced there's something important in that manuscript. How do I get my hands on a copy? Please. No more questions, Max. If I'm lucky, maybe this Gwen left Sophie's manuscript behind. Gotcha. Reading Safi's manuscript after all this feels like, I don't know, being hit by a tidal wave. Whatever happened with Maya was explosive. Let's see what Yasmin has to say about her. I hope somebody is coming in to water you guys. Preferably someone who doesn't have to break in through an alternate dimension. So they took her computer. Probably going through it right now. Tossing Gwen out screwed everybody over. Will Gwen be allowed to come back for these?
Would you mind closing it behind you, Max? Pretty sure Gwen's had enough of me today. Sorry, Yasmin, but I'll need to interrupt your downtime with some questions. I wonder who took the time to censor Sophie's recipe. Probably not Sophie. Hardly know any of the faculty here. So that's Lucas's son? Oh, this picture is too cute. This school's success means a lot to Yasmin.
Yasmin liked to get coffee here in the afternoon before Safi died. I can't imagine being this trusting. Don't they know there's snoops like me around? Loretta's a hard worker. I'll give her that. I just wish she'd use her powers for good. Hey, Loretta. Oh, hi, Miss Caulfield. How are you? Have you talked to Reggie since yesterday? Reggie? Reggie Kagan? Business major Reggie? Crap! Wrong Loretta, Max! You know what? Ignore me. I am lost in space. <laughs> End of the semester, right? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Anyway, catch you later, Loretta. The art department really pushes for self-expression in every medium. I like that about Caledon. Oh, wow. These are, uh, extremely creepy. Sorry. I've been trying to get a shot of Safi writing in the light beams from this window, but she always sees me. Hmm. Huh. So this heartwarming sentiment isn't a Colmanero quote. It's Dickens. Okay, time for a delicate conversation. Hi, Yasmin. Maxime, how are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. Like I said, I get those all the time. Still, be careful. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. A toothache can mean a heart attack. I'm gonna try not to think about that too hard. <laughs> I was hoping we could talk. Come, sit. Have you seen Sophie today? No. We're meeting later this afternoon. I can tell her you were looking for her. Did Sophie tell you her book deal was canceled? 
What? No. How... How uh, was she when she found out? Not sure, but I bet she was devastated. Oh, Sofia. I'll be sure to talk to her about this. You look like you've won the day. Coffee's that good? <laughs> Our ratings are. Kaladin is once again one of the top universities in the country. The coffee is just so-so. I heard about what happened to Dr. Hunter. Yes. Would you really fire her? That depends on the findings of the committee. It's out of my hands now. I wanted to ask you about something. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four years ago. A horrible tragedy. I think... I think Sophie's book was cancelled because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Sophia didn't even know Maya. Did Yasmin just lie to me? Do I call her out? She'll be pissed, but I can cut straight to the point. Or should I go along with it and see what narrative she's trying to spin? There's this rumor that something happened with Maya before she died. I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but... Ms. Okada appears to have caused herself a great deal of pain. So, she had a bad reputation. No wonder you didn't want her and Safi associated with each other. <laughs> exactly. Strange. I really thought Vin's statement closed the matter. Shady cow skull throwing Vin is involved? Enough ancient history. I have a favor to ask. Safia's been distant lately. Could you keep an eye on her for me? Are you sure that I'm the best person to... Yes. Because she trusts you. And I trust you. I... Yeah. Sure. I'll look out for her. Thank you, Maxine. Oh, the time. Let's do lunch again. Somewhere with more atmosphere than the other place. That was odd. What did she mean by Vin's statement? Maybe I'd better talk to Vin myself.
He's probably in the admin building. Hey, sport. You're just gonna walk past me without saying hello? Oh, what a terrible mistake. Whatever shall I do? I'm hurt, but I'm sure you can make it up to me. I'll think of something. Anyway, hi Amanda. What are you doing on campus? Just going on a coffee run. But your coffee's better at the turtle. This one tastes like ass. Enough about me. What are you doing here? I work here. No, no. I mean, I just saw you talking to President Fayad. What were you talking about? I was asking her about Safi and her relationship with a student named Maya Okada. Oh. Why? It's kind of a long story, but it's for something important. This guy's always falling for you, isn't it? <laughs> you have no idea. Well, I'll leave you to your something important. See you around, tiger. See you, Amanda. He's probably in the admin building. Have fun. Yasmin said something about Finn. How's he mixed up in this? I didn't realize I needed cryptid erotica until just now. Keep up my shenanigans and I'll have to add Max Caulfield to the list. I definitely am not going to ask him. He ruined my life. I thought Vin loved you. Isn't that what you said? Uh, yeah, he does love me. But you can hurt the ones you love. Deep. 
He's super to you. It's Ben's business what he does with his life, and you never know. He might be asking you for help. Okay, Isabel, you were absolutely right. As always, what uh, was I right about? As it happens, a number of folks. A crush on Lucas? Really? Things can't be that bad, can they? So, a new proposal wouldn't be for a four-day work week period. Nothing ever seems to bother you, Gretch. You must have a heart of stone. Caledon's Gorilla Girl strikes again. Keep fighting the good fight, kid. Looks like somebody had their last stand. Damn, Finn's the most popular class on campus. I don't know this Vin as well, but let's see what I can do. Hey, Vin. Um, Yasmin's out right now. Sorry to disappoint. Unless you're here for me. In which case, I'll do my best to be of service. Do you talk like this to everyone who comes near Yasmin's office? <laughs> I've never met a pissed off board member I can't defang with a little eyebrow action. Speaking of Yasmin, how did you end up in her good graces? Oh, it's been so long I can't remember. She probably saw me in The Importance of Being Earnest my freshman year. Not to brag, but I was kind of a campus sensation as Algernon. So it had nothing to do with Maya Okada? Wow. You know Maya's name. Am I supposed to collapse under the weight of that revelation? You're supposed to talk to me like a human being about what happened with her. What do you need me for, super sleuth? You're obviously capable of digging up ancient gossip on your own. Now, if you'll excuse me, Gwen's hearing completely scrambled to a schedule. No casual chats about Maya. Noted. Maybe other Vin will spill. No way around it. I gotta talk. I wanted to talk to you about a breakfast and who should be leading it. Waiting until I'm down to try to kick me out, huh? I thought you were smarter than that. And nicer, frankly. Ben, cut the bullshit. This isn't about you. It's about the best person to head a Braxis. Right now, you're not in a place I'm where you can- I have a place can... to keep Abraxas above it all. As long as I have this job, we could light the observatory on fire and get away with it. You're not even a student here. You graduated years ago. Plus, Abraxas should be about marginalized people making subversive art. Not about straight white guys getting wasted and committing arson. Don't mind us, Max. We were just finishing up. Then Abraxas needs new blood. You mean you need another line on your resume. Hold up. Can we talk? I just want to ask you about Maya. Please. I can't handle the both of you. 
trying to exploit my weak spots. Did I just witness a failed crown snatching? <laughs> you gotta seize the opportunities when you can. And hey, it almost worked. Speaking of which, what's the deal with Maya? Isn't she the undergrad who died a while ago? That's her? Why, do you know anything? Just that Vin looks like he bit into a lemon anytime someone says her name. So Maya makes Vin uncomfortable, huh? Let's find out why. There's gonna be a debate at the beginning of next semester. A special little pissing match for Vin and me. Vin usually runs for a Braxis president unopposed. But if I had the right piece of dirt, I bet I could make him step down. If I give her something juicy and then go to the other timeline, maybe I can listen in on Diamond confronting Vin? Vin gave a statement where he said Maya had mental health problems, which may have been true, but I think there's more. What I'm saying is, someone let Maya down really badly. I don't get it. Were Maya and Vin friends or something? I'm not sure, but they definitely knew each other. And Vin gave a statement about her death. What a pompous little piece of shit. Whatever he did, now's your chance to squeeze it out of him. Damn. Okay, Machiavelli. Can you do me a favor? Wait until I get out of here to bring this up with him. You got it. I won't jeopardize your getaway. This Vin's not going to tell me anything. Maybe the other one has looser lips. If I'm going to listen in on this conversation, I need to cross to the other side. Oh shit. Do I have to go to Abraxas meetings now? This is why I never did extracurriculars. How can they have no record of him? They sent him. Would Alderman's mother know what happened to her son? That's my cue to get out of here. Very palpable. Oh no! Somebody abandoned their boy.
The hedgehog, distant relative of the shrew, enjoys its rest after a full day's work for the kahuna. Just... don't break it? I could just get you a new one. It cost me like two dollars. I don't want a new one. I want the one you gave me. Sophie bought him that hedgehog? That's sweet. How nice of you to finally return my phone call. Thank you, Jimmy. Died by suicide? But I thought... I can't keep listening to this. Gotta hear what Vin says to Diamond when he thinks I'm not listening. Looking for gigs out on the West Coast, huh? Break a leg, Vin. of this guy. Too grim reapy. Changing Yasmin's schedule must have been agonizing for both her and Vin. Looking for gigs out on the west coast, huh? Break a leg, Vin. I don't blame Vin for wanting to ditch Caledon and get a fresh start. How the hell do I get him to talk? If I eavesdrop on Diamond and Vin, Vin might leak what he knows about Maya. That's my cue to get out of here. So yes, 
He asked me to promise me a, a stable, a respectable job, health insurance. And I took it. And I cared about Maya. And it was a horrible thing to do. And I regret it ever since. Yeah. Uh, I don't have to bring that up in the debate. There's not gonna be a debate. I'm dropping out of the race. You're just gonna let me be the head of a Bradley? Like that? It doesn't feel very good in the end, does it? Vin met Maya in Lucas's class. And he also knows something about the cow skull through Sophie's windshield which conveniently made Lucas look guilty. If I can pressure the other Vin, maybe he'll tell me what the hell is going on here. I know, I know you're busy. Give me just a minute of your time. This better be worth it. Yasmin gave you this job as a favor, didn't she? For talking to a reporter who was writing about Maya's death? Didn't your parents ever teach you to not bring up people's dead friends for no reason? There is a reason, I promise. Please. Enlighten me. I need to understand something that I did. That I... don't remember doing. You know that sounds clinically insane, right? I extremely do. Thank you. You said in your statement that Maya was troubled. But that wasn't true, was it? Finn, what really happened? Ask Lucas Colmanero. It all started in his class. He has Maya's blood on his hands. You're not saying Lucas killed her? Not literally, but... The man deserves every misfortune that befalls him. Like, for example, if Sophie suspected him of tossing a cow skull through her windshield? <laughs> no more free secrets. I have a reputation to protect. I guess I could reveal one of the other secrets I know. You and Safi had a thing, didn't you? One, information I already know isn't exactly thrilling. Two, I'm dying to know how you figured that one out. Because I'm confident it wasn't Safi. I saw a photo on your phone. <laughs> Remind me not to underestimate you. All right. So was the cow skull you or not? Yes. So, why? I mean, you've seen a pissed off Safi before. She's like a force of nature. When I heard her book got squashed, I seized an opportunity to aim her at a deserving target. So you were what? Protecting Gwen? That's as much as you get. And now I really do have to get back to work. But, Caulfield, whatever the real reason is for you digging up old history, be respectful to Maya. She suffered enough while she was alive. Max, 
Don't need to knock. My door's always open. Come on in. I want to show you something. Aw, cute. <laughs> My son gave that to me a few years ago. I just dug it out of storage. Ah, are you familiar with Araucaria forests? They're all over southern Chile. I'm not. They look beautiful, though. Well, next time the wanderlust hits you. I don't recognize the name. Oh, that. A fan sent it to me. He's quite famous, actually. Do you follow much football? Uh, not really. Looks like someone had a party foul. What? Oh, it's just coffee. Uh, I'm a little preoccupied. What can I get you to tell me about Maya? What did you want to show me? Take a look at that. Looks like Lucas has been having some late nights. A pen so fancy I'd be nervous to write with it. This is actually a really cool shot. I hope Robbie's doing okay. A movie? Holy shit. Now I don't have to read the rest of the book. Holy shit. He actually did it. Did I make the right choice? Should I have told Sophie about this? I hope Robbie's doing okay. It's a temporary one. I bought myself two weeks to find some solid evidence. I know you may not be thrilled. Safi's your friend. But it's giving me a lot of peace of mind, so thank you. No problem. I hope whatever is going on between you and Safi can be fixed. Hopefully without that. I'm afraid that ship has sailed. But I'm sure that's not why you came to my office. How can I help you, Max? to pry, but I couldn't help seeing that email from your agent. Oh, no worries. It's an incredible feeling, getting chosen for the big screen. About time, right? <laughs> uh, just don't tell people yet. Okay, Max? These sorts of things, they have to be announced properly. I'm thinking at Krampus. Krampus? Probably. I have a call with my agent later. I'll get the details then. How's Robbie doing? Still angry with me, but 
We're making progress. I canceled a few things to go to his Taekwondo match. I think it made him happy. Why aren't you at that Burlington book event? The book expo? I pulled out. Didn't seem important, what with everything happening to Ravi and all this. I was wondering, what can you tell me about Maya Okada? Why do you ask? I don't really know much about her, but I heard she was your student. I'm just curious is all. What happened to Maya was a tragedy. A tragedy I really don't like to talk about. So I'm afraid you'll have to whet your curiosity somewhere else. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a phone call to take with my agent, so if you could see yourself out. Sure. Well, that was a bust. Won't be able to snoop around in here either. See what I can find about Maya. Guess normal drip just doesn't cut it for Professor Colmanero. How'd they get in here? Jesus, some of these items are priceless. I've got a lot on my plate. I don't need this right now. Where the hell's Yasmin? Where's security? First Gwen's slashed tires. Now Lucas's office? What's going on in his timeline? The Shoals Award for Literary Excellence. They're handing out typewriters now for writing books? Pretentious, shiny, and probably hasn't typed a word in years. Kinda like Lucas. Seems like at least one student remembers Lucas fondly. Surely there's something good in here. Looks like a fun read. I didn't know Lucas did fun. That's probably his ex-wife. They look really happy here. Poor devil. Banished to the hell from whence he came. Would you file what I did to Maya under W or M? Uh, 
That's a lot of junk. But maybe what I need is somewhere in there. Well, this at least confirms Maya took his class. Um, oh, that could definitely be Maya Okada. Of course Lucas is the type of asshole that makes you buy his own book for class. Lucas and Maya meeting so much. This can't be a repeat of what happened at my high school. One time was far too many. Um, oh. That could definitely be Maya. Oh, maybe he reads it for the articles. Yasmin did one of these? I didn't realize just how much Lucas's book has resonated with people. The Shoals Award for Literary Excellence. They're handing out typewriters now for writing books? Do you have something for me, Mr. Filing Cabinet? These folders are all from this year. I doubt I'll find anything about Maya. I don't think I've ever seen this sort of tree in the wild. World's okayest dad. Might be the first time Lucas didn't oversell himself. Sorry, Chester, but you've got a problem, and it starts with a
If Alderman never existed, how the hell do Moses and I remember him? I have to talk to Lucas. Now. <laughs> 